Hello all, so we will be discussing one example. So x of n sequence is given, it is a 10 point sequence. Uh, and we have to find 10 point DFT of this sequence x of n. Okay, so let's proceed. First of all, uh, part A, find the 10 point sequence, 10 point DFT of x of n. So let's say it is x of k. So we will get summation from n 0 to 9 since our n is 10 and now we will get x of n is here so x of n is del n plus twice del of n minus 5 and whole in power e raised to minus j 2 pi by 10 and we have n into k now using the property of delta function when this is multiplied when we open the brackets this del n is multiplied by this so it is nothing but e raised to 0 because del of n minus 0 so we will get e raised to 0 it is nothing but 1 plus twice we will get e raised to uh, 5 over here so that is twice e raised to minus j 2 pi by 10 into 5 times k clear and this summation is whole as it is so this is nothing but twice and this cancel so what we are left with we are left with 1 plus twice e raised to minus j pi k okay and the whole inside the summation so what we can write after this that uh, this e raised to minus j pi k the whole term is not involving any n term okay n is being replaced by phi so this summation will not matter now so we are left with just 1 plus twice e raised to minus j pi k and if k is even then we get 1 and if a k is odd then we can we get minus 1 so in general we can write this as 1 plus twice minus 1 raised to k and it is nothing but our answer where k is ranging from 0 to 9 clear now let's move towards b part so what b part is saying we have to find some sequence suppose let's say it is x1 of n okay so we have to find some sequence whose dft is nothing but let us denote it by y of n only because of dft is given y of k so it is y of n we have to find this y of n for this whose dft is being given by x of k e power minus j 2 pi by 10 into 3k now what does it mean as per the shifting property okay uh, what we can write this can be written as x of n minus 3 for 10 point dft because we know the shifting property that is time shifting property what it says it says that if x of n and x of k are n point dft pair clear then x of n minus n naught circular is being nothing but x of k e power minus j 2 pi by n times k n naught clear this n naught is being over here so here our n naught is 3 so that's why I am writing this x of n minus n naught it is x of n minus 3 so just replace n by n minus 3 in our x of n and that is our required sequence y of n so our required sequence is del of n minus 3 plus twice del of n minus 3 minus 5 and it is nothing but del of n minus 3 plus twice del of n minus 8 and this is our answer now third part third part is the same just we have plus sign over here so similarly as per the shifting property it is circular time shifting property over here if we are getting plus then here also we are getting plus so here we will get x of n plus 3 and this is 10 point sequence clear so we will get x of n plus 3 so just replace n by n plus 3 in this x of n 
सो जस्ट रिप्लेसिंग डेल ऑफ एन प्लस थ्री प्लस ट्वाइस डेल ऑफ एन प्लस थ्री माइनस फाइव सो इट इज डेल ऑफ एन प्लस थ्री प्लस ट्वाइस डेल ऑफ एन माइनस टू नाउ वी कैंट से दैट इट इज द आंसर बिकॉज ओवर हियर वी आर हैविंग एन प्लस थ्री विच इज नॉट इन अवर रेंज ऑफ एन सो वॉट वी विल डू वी विल यूज सिंपली यू मे नोटिस दैट I have written something over here for circular right shifting and circular left shifting. So over here we are having circular left shifting. So this can be modified by these two equations. Depending on the range of this n, we can use this or this. So over here, this our n falls in this range from n minus n not to n minus one. Don't worry if you are not getting this two, this left shift and this top one that is right shift. because how to utilize them is as follows just simply what you have to do just simply write i am writing just this term del of n plus 3 just write it like this if you are having plus sign then just subtract n capital n okay from this so it is nothing but 10 in our case so we are left with del of n minus 7 so our final answer is del of n plus n minus 7 Plus twice del of n minus two. So this is our final answer. Similarly for this last part, we are having minus sign. So our sequence is x of n minus seven because here n not is seven. So n point d f t. So just replace n by n minus seven. So we will get n minus seven plus twice del of n minus seven minus five. so we will get now this n minus 12 now this is out of the range because our n is ranging from 0 to 10 this is okay because it is in range of 0 to 9 but this is not okay so similarly using this one that is circular right shifting the second case don't worry if you are not getting this mathematical terms just how to apply see it i am just writing this term twice del of n minus 12 this can be written as Twice del of n minus twelve. Here negative sign so just plus ten plus capital n. This is whatever is the n value here. Is, our n is ten because ten point d f t. So just simply we are writing n minus two. So our final answer is del of n minus seven plus twice del of n minus two. So that's all for this video. Thank you.